Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to FPVXP. Um, as promised, we'll be building the Hyperlo CG frame today. Everything's still packaged. Things we need. The frame. Something to keep your screws in. Driver for your screws. Something to get into the packaging. Um, I'm going to do this and then I'm probably going to fast forward through unpacking all of this before we get started with the build. Boom, and just like magic, everything was laid out for a quick smooth build. Alright, I'm going to try and walk you all through this. Um, I've tried to set everything out in a manner that shows you exactly how it's going to go together. It's really, really difficult, so I couldn't get it, so I'm going to build this quick as I can, so I don't waste your time. Feel free to skip through, I'll probably put a break in here and there. Um, have fun was a bit tricky trying to uh, work out what to do first so I'll start with the pieces that we can just put together this is the GoPro mount that will be on the top I actually managed to get myself a used GoPro today for an absolute bargain I thought that was great okay so that's gonna go on the top this is the piece that goes under the main body and we'll probably start with getting that piece in just like that right so this is how she goes in like this as you can see hopefully i've got all the screws right put that back down without breaking the whole house down these are the stands you get these two standoffs that go inside so you insert them. Please excuse my runny nose. I know it's awful. I'm so sorry. It's really embarrassing. But I've got to get this build done. Because I want to get this build done. So I can fly this build. Very, very excited. Don't judge me. Alright. So those two pieces are in. This piece is underneath. Two screws. Two of the longest ones that come in the entire package, by the way. There we go, sorry, I'm not exactly a pro at this. Put in that. I'll say that one goes on this side, I reckon. Let's do that. There we are. And there's no doing this gracefully, ladies and gentlemen. There just isn't. Excuse me. Yeah, get that sort of half in there. Come back for a second. Don't judge me if I get this wrong. It's actually more difficult than you think. Putting a frame together in front of everyone with a mic in front of your face and a camera recording your every mistake. So, do not judge. Or go ahead and judge. <laughs> um, okay. A bit finicky. But I think, I think I'm getting some love here. So far I haven't run into any threads that stripped or anything that was like badly de or anything that would really cause me to think oh my I've paid a premium for this and it's an absolute bunch of junk so I'm quite happy to that respect okay so don't tell me I put them on the wrong way around so sorry feel free to skip ahead I'm trying to do this fairly quickly I will put ads in if I make, not an ad, but a break, if I make a total mess of this. Uh-huh, alright. I, I got mine directly from the US, from Hyperlo itself. And I think after speaking to Rich, who was the support guy who helped me, that uh, he was telling me that he tried to even reduce the package to lower the cost because sometimes customs will stop it and you'll face an extra charge which is an absolute drain 
and a total waste. So I never got mine in an actual box. It just came in the packet like that. I don't know if the screws are supposed to actually be segregated in another manner or if there are supposed to be some sort of build instructions to this because I didn't get any build instructions. So this is sort of happy-go-lucky. And there's so many screws of so many different sizes. I'm sure you all will get instructions with yours because it would be much easier just to get it from Unman's Hack. They seem to be the supplier here according to Rich from Hyperlow. He does say, all right, that end, but not too tight. All right, grand. First piece in, probably a good place to start. I'm going to put the legs on, and they do go like so. Please excuse my runny nose. I'm so sorry. It's actually really embarrassing. I shouldn't have made this video, but I'm too far in, and I can't wait because... If I do, then I'll never actually get a chance to fly this thing. It should be terribly depressing. <laughs> right. That screw goes in there. There are really a couple of tricky bits to this frame, especially when you're trying to... Uh, Screw it all in on camera. Okay, there we go. And that's how I'm gonna roll with that little bit. It's looking like I've completely bottled that, hasn't it? Yes, I have totally, totally screwed that side up. All right, I, I get it. If you guys are gonna hit the like button. <laughs> That's very much fair enough. Very much fair enough. No pressure. No pressure. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I think that's sort of semi in there. I'll try and put it down without destroying the whole screw setup. It's, it's actually quite hard to get them all set up. Now, one of the tricks is that you actually got to get this bad boy in here right now and if you don't it can cause a bit of malarkey for you later though I think I can do that's it if you have a look the outside screw can be done so we'll go ahead with the outside screws that's this chap this chap if I've got the order right still, that would be quite handy. Yeah. There we are. Runs it. There we are. Ladies and gentlemen, what do we think of that? Now, we do get these guards that go on here. And you're going to need the longest screws, so that's these boys, to get in there. Because on, <clears throat> on top of them will go a standoff. That's these two standoffs here. So be sure not to forget this, because I see that people do forget this. And sort of have to take everything apart again. And start doing it. So try not to forget, though. This frame is quite flexible in the amount of ways that you can set it up. So not everybody is going to set it up in this fashion, which is understandable, obviously. These standoffs will go here. Now there are several sizes of standoffs in here, I must warn you. Several sizes. Come yeah, on. Do this by hand quickly. Excuse my hands, I've been scratched by the cat. We had a bit of a brawl today. Good play. Always fun to have a play with my cat. His name's Jinx. You can follow him on Instagram if you so wish. Right, so these ones come in underneath here. A bit on the tight side. 
So I like to use the driver because that gets them through it quite smoothly. There we are, there we are, there we are, they are through. On top of those go standoffs. Now these are polymer standoffs, I don't know if they're plastic or actual polymer, but they aren't still. Right, so that's that side pretty much done. We'll start at the back trying to apply the same sort of thing. So you can see that one and this one go in first. Put that one in there right now. Keep things nice and simple. There we go. I believe I'm actually uh, doing this with a flu, but at least it gets done. And that is always an absolute perk because sometimes you wait and you wait and you miss your gaps. And that's always a real pain. Okay, so you see, excuse me, this is really starting to take some form now, which is uh, great. Do like it. Here we are. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, where was I now? Two more long screws in the bottom. Yeah. Now, because I wanted to use a half mount VTX at the back of this, um, I have to think carefully about how I'm going to use my standoff. So, if I'm going to use the exact set of screws that Hyperlow has actually sent, or if there's a way to customize the screws that they have given you, because Having a look at this, it looks like there's going to be a bunch of spare parts. Like, I took everything out the way it was supposed to be. Okay. Right, so, another two standoffs in, you can see. That's sort of going to be... Ah, oh, but you see, I've already made a bit of a mess, because I've forgotten to put this support plate in. And that should go in just under these standoffs here. Not the end of the world, that's a quick fix. Thank heavens. If I'd forgotten that, that would have been a bit of uh, drama. Okay, grand. There we are. And the standoffs. Like so. Tighten them up. There we are. Don't need to take a bit of shape now. So you see, there are several, several ways to mount this by the looks of it. And from the top plate here, you can see that there are several places for support screws. So you can sort of move these if you want your stack in the middle, put your stack in the middle, or a stack at the front and half stack at the back, or a half stack at the back and stack in the middle, and your TX in front, your transmitter. It's doable. At least it gives you leeway to have a solid, solid play around with the frame, which isn't really something that I see happening very often these days. Like the market's sort of becoming a bit saturated with easy to do. This is how it's done. Kind of boring me to death, really, which is a little bit on the sad side. So we'll get the back standoffs in now. <coughs> And that's these two boys here, which will line up with these two holes in the black eventually. There, get those in. There we are. One. And two. All good quality threads, all good quality screws. Nothing stuck yet. <laughs> As I did mention to you, which is great because like I've I've had some fairly poor frames that you, you pay an absolute fortune for, and remarkably enough, it's disgraceful when it comes through. Honestly, disgraceful. All right, here we are. Another. So you see, these pieces are going in like this.
and it's taking good form. It is a sexy, sexy frame. I mean, I wanted this frame since day one. Honestly, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so top plate on top, as you can see here. A couple of screws in the back, and we're almost, almost there. Now, I have left a couple of bits out, so because I'm going to do a build and because I'm not 100% sure of exactly, exactly where I'm going to put each one, I thought I'd do the build of this frame first, just in some sort of standard format so everybody can see how it's built, what sort of issues you can expect to encounter, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so finally, we're going to put the camera mounts on the front like such excellent I have our four screws yeah right one in there now these pieces are 3d printed which is quite cool because yeah, when I was a kid I could never ever have imagined that we would ever have such a thing as a 3d printer now we got it we sort of take it for granted so Every time I see something like this, I'm still like a little bit flabbergasted that I need to get one. I kind of have my eye on one actually, looking at it, really want it, gotta have it. You know the score, you've all been there. You're all just like me, techies. Right, and one last screw. So this is the sort of bare bones. The most, most basic means of getting this frame together. There we have it. In its simplest form. I do say it is very, very sexy. Very, very sexy. High pillow, as promised. It is actually really, really slender. And it's a sleek, sleek, Sexy, sexy looking thing. Honestly, love it. Now just imagine when on the ends of these arms you have beautiful, beautiful zing black and red motors. And they've got a red cam for the front. Then we do a Spider-Man build. Who knows? Well, that's that. I've left a couple of pieces out. I haven't put the foam on. This is the foam. Foam goes here. One more piece of foam. That's this teeny little piece of foam. That piece of foam goes underneath there. Just to cover, give you a good clamp down on your VTX area or whatever it is there, however you want to set it up. Plenty of holes for straps. Now, spare parts, as you can see. Boom. Different size standoffs, I imagine that's for securing the top plate once you get all of your electronic infrastructure for your system into place. We have these. 3D printed parts here as well, those two, and these two, and these are in fact to work along with these, which are hollow tubes, and in these hollow tubes goes the wires from your TX unit, so whatever transmitter you have, or whatever you mount, put them in there. They have holes in them, as you can see, and in the side of the hyperlow, at this leg here, or any leg, this little 3D printed piece will fit in. So put it in while you're building it, because that's what's actually going to help you. You put those couple of pieces in with the pipe, like so, and you run the wires through it, which ends up leaving them... Sorry, Alexis decided to interrupt the conversation. Which can leave them like that, which can leave them like that, which can leave... There is a whole bunch of them. I believe on Thingiverse there's a bunch of different uh, options that you can print out or make your own and print them out, get creative. Uh, but that's it for the build, really. Uh, I've got my spare screws, my spare standoffs, the spare 3D printed parts, spare bits here and there, the spare straps, as you can see. But the basics is there. That's it. Lovely frame. Really tough. Really rigid. Haven't tightened it up. Thanks for watching, guys. My next build will be this. 
And I'll be putting Zing motors in. I'll be putting a Dell RC engine in it with a Dell RC F405. I'll be putting a Matex VTX in it, a Balco uh, Foxia camera. And in all hopes, it will look spectacular and fly even better. Um, any ideas for a tune? Let me know if you fly one of these. Uh, if you don't, if you like my video, please subscribe. I'm going to try and edit it short. I know it was probably a bit long and please excuse my cold and the sniffles. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you very much for tuning into FPV XP. You guys are awesome. Later.